For those of you working on mobile devices, you're going to find that the shared spreadsheet with the data is not one that you can edit. You won't have edit. This is a spreadsheet shared to me by uh, a test student, a pseudo student. And you can see here I have no ability to edit it. This will be the same problem you face. One thing I can do is I can simply copy whatever data is on there and do a copy and then just simply go make my own new spreadsheet, put this one away and uh, switch over to sheets and make a brand new sheet and I can simply uh, once I get myself together here, paste it in and it'll paste whatever I've copied. And now I've got a fully editable spreadsheet. And that's probably the easiest way to get the data moved around. You'll notice here there is no ability to do file and make a copy. That's because it's not available from this particular screen. What I'll have to go to to get to there is back to my Sheets screen here. And you'll see that now that I've opened Angelina Sheet, it appears here. If it didn't appear there, I'd have to go here to Shared With Me. And then it would appear over in the Shared With Me screen. You can see it there. It's at this particular screen in Sheets that I can use file make a copy. See it down here? There's make a copy. And then I can give it, a, you know, I can name it whatever I want. It's a, a copy and I can tell it where I want it in my drive. I can organize it. Uh, and this then will be a copy of Angelina's spreadsheet but one that I can edit, one that I can use. And so when this opens up, you'll see it has the same test word. That's all Angelina put in a test. If there was data, the data would all be there. But now again, I can edit it. So this is a second way to get a hold of data in a sheet that you cannot edit.